let us start this video off with the pimp's prayer. If if thou is forced to use battle eye, please stop playing the game that forces you to use battle eye. This is a prayer I wish I could get behind. But I love Rainbow Six Siege. All right, if you don't know, your boy is a Rainbow Six Siege player. Okay, I like it. I may not be the best Rainbow Six Siege player, but I but I have a good time. All right, it is what it is. Now. After playing Rainbow Six Siege for years, like literally since year one, I finally run into my first big snag. Now, a while back, I built the Billy PC, where I run everything under virtual machines pretty much. Now, ever since I made that video, I, I tend to get some comments where people are like, what if you got to hide? Why would you use a virtual machine? I'm only going to say this once, okay? I literally use virtual machines because I only use Windows 10 to play Rainbow Six Siege. Everything works better for me under Linux and Mac when I virtualize it, okay? That's the reality of it. I don't need Windows 10. Windows 10, I only use to run Rainbow Six Siege. The day Rainbow Six Siege runs under Linux natively is the day I never ever will boot into Windows 10. I don't use Windows 10, okay? I literally use it because it need, I need, if I didn't play Siege, I wouldn't use Windows 10. That's pretty much why it goes down. I personally find it easier for me to fire up a virtual machine for an hour and a half, play a game, and then sign off. Linux, to me, is just better in every respect. Now, with that, that that stuff said, when I built my Billy Rig, at the time, Rainbow Six Siege worked perfectly. I could fire up a virtual machine, I could play Rainbow Six, and have a good time. No input lag, no network issues, it just worked. Lately, I, I, I stopped playing Rainbow Six Siege. I had a lot of busy moments, so I wasn't playing the game for about a month. Recently, I just got back into it, and lo and behold, I'm getting shadow banned from the game! So, at this point, I'm kind of freaking out, okay? I have hundreds of dollars invested into my main Siege account, okay? So, for me, it's not even the money issue, it's the amount it's the amount of hours I've played, and the legacy I've built, and the friends that I've made along the way. For that to just be taken away, because I could potentially be playing under a virtual machine, fucking scared me. So I'm playing a couple games of Rainbow Six Siege, and I keep connecting the matches. Every time I pick my operator, before I can get into the match, even, even if I get into a match, I'm only able to play for maybe one minute. Before the game boots me out and Battle Eye says, I've been kicked out. Reason? Client not responding. <laughs> okay. So I begin to wonder and scratch my head what the fuck is going on. So there I'm sitting like an idiot, reinstalling Battle Eye, doing whatever I can, and lo and behold, turns out they're actually banning virtual machine people. We're getting fuck we're getting booted out of games. Cause I guess Battle Eye has suddenly updated itself secretly, and now they're just going after VM people. It's kinda crazy. Even lately, fellow content creator and uh, and Clash main Bikini Bodhi started getting fucking banned. All right, he started saying, "Listen, celebrated too soon." He's currently, I st I think, still banned. I have to give a bit of a correction. Bikini got released from U uh, Ubisoft Federal Prison, so congratulations, whoop de doo My VMs are still getting diddled. So hey, you can see that he's gotten kicked out of the game by Battle Eye. Reason? Cheating. Listen, I know that he's a fucking toxic clash main, but if I know my boy Bikini well, he ain't cheating. Battle Eye is going on is going on a rampage. It's funny to me when you go to the fucking website, Battle Eye, the anti-cheat gold standard. Like, the fact that you can brazenly lie like this is so fucking hilarious. You're not a gold standard, okay? If anything, I'm pretty sure this is like the cheapo, like, anti-cheat that any developer goes to when they when they don't want to shell out the big bucks for anything else. It's a shame to say at this point that easy anti-cheat, and I'm not a big, like, Epic Games person, but I'm pretty sure easy anti-cheat is still, like, bringing the pain at this point compared to this. This, to me, has always been a pretty substance any game that i've played that has used battle eye has always given me one or two problems even when i ran windows 10 natively now it's not just siege this is also an issue on the escape from tarkov community battle eye just bans kvm users some kvm users report they cannot play escape from tarkov since 1507 apparently battle eye starts kicking players for vm detection kvm was one of the only remaining ones kvm is the tool that we use to actually virtualize windows as if it was running on bare metal that's starting to get banned too 
And if KVM's starting to get banned, you bet your ass nothing else is going to be safe. I love how the comments are like, fuck anti-cheat. I'm completely down for not having cheaters, but every anti-cheat seems to work against the Linux community. Anti-cheat just doesn't work against the Linux community. Anti-cheat works against the regular community anyways. Now listen, I'm not saying in this video, fuck anti-cheat blatantly. I get the need for anti-cheat, especially for a game like Rainbow Six Siege. It's a competitive first person shooter. You're going to need anti-cheat. I get it. But listen, I'd rather have Valorant's Vanguard service anyways, because BattleEye clearly just doesn't do its job. Literally before even making this video, connecting to just a quick match on Rainbow Six Siege, I played a match of plane where players were just blatantly wall hacking anyways. Even if this BattleEye is to be the gold standard and is to be used, it's spending more time banning players who aren't hacking like me, just based on the software that I use, compared to people that are blatantly walling in the game anyways. And granted, when I report hackers and siege they get banned a day later i get my elo back but the fact of the matter is they, they spend more time blocking out a grand majority of users rather than focusing on actual cheating software and trust me anti-cheat and cheating it's like an arms race okay you're always going to be working against each other but battle eye seems to be visibly behind the pack compared to other software like valorant or easy anti-cheat Fuck, I'd even say Steam's dog shit VAC is probably better than BattleEye. BattleEye is like the lowest of the low when it comes, it's the lowest layer of hell when it comes to the hell that is anti-cheat. Now, it's interesting, I go on this Reddit board a lot, which is VFIO, RVFIO, um, and with Reddit VFIO, there's an amazing post made by Alexander the... Man! Man! <laughs> I, I plug it in and bam, what's the first name, right? They actually they, they actually showed you how fucking stupid this ban is in the first place. This person made a post where they said, if you download the source code for the Linux kernel and modify the actual KVM VMX lines over here, so they actually tell you how to edit the source code for the Linux operating system, recompile it and boot using it, and bam, you've already beaten the BattleEye bullshit detection anyways. And somehow this may actually work for games like Valorant. I may actually make a video just doing this to show you how stupid these anti-VM anti-cheats are. The point I'm trying to bring here, the biggest, most important point, is if this is true, it shows you the, the, the it shows you they're not even banning correctly. They're literally banning VMs based on the tiniest fingerprint out there. And if this is true, beating the ban probably is one of the easiest things to do too. So we'll have to test this out. Now, I, there's another big reason why I'm making this video, and it's fucking hypocrisy. Okay, let me explain to you real quick. Ubisoft relies and actually utilizes a lot of services from NVIDIA's GeForce Now, and in fact, they also use Google Stadia. In fact, if you go to Stadia right now, one of the games that's being peddled to me right now should probably be like an Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, right here. Buy your favorite games, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Okay, so they, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So it's more than one game that they're selling on Stadia and the GeForce Now system. GeForce Now, they're just running the game through it. They are using roughly the same technology that I'm using to play Rainbow Six Siege. Yet somehow I'm the bad one, okay, and they're just letting this go by. These people are profiting off of the technology that they themselves are fucking banning. So it leads me to believe one thing, okay? If we're going by what Bikini has posted and what my experience is, it actually isn't even really a Ubisoft problem. Ubisoft isn't directly controlling the ban. They have outsourced their anti-cheat to BattleEye, and BattleEye has changed the fucking game, and they are now specifically targeting users like me. These guys are wasting resources fucking up the game by targeting people that aren't hacking in the first place. I get it. Banning virtual machines makes sense because we can directly modify memory without them having any form of detection. But let me just bring this up to you real quick. With the player base of Rainbow Six Siege, there has to be, what, a thousand people max? Two thousand running this KVM virtual machine setup that I have? Okay, how many of those people are actually hacking? I'm not, so let's just take, like, what? Five, a percent, two percent of KVM people doing it. So you're going to target the entire community for, for a couple bad apples that were going to exist anyways. This is what I'm getting at with anti-cheat. These people are wasting way too many time and resources for very little fucking gain. They spend more time screwing up the game for the average player base than they do actually fix it. And the worst part about it is they don't even have the balls to tell you that they're doing this. Because I just kept getting kicked for battle eyes, anti-cheat, not responding. Hey, how about we man the fuck up and just tell me that you're banning virtual machines in the first place so I don't fucking waste my time banging my head against a brick wall, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, fuck anti-cheat. 
I mean, really, fuck anti-cheat. Because quite literally, at least with BattleEye, at least with what they are using on Rainbow Six Siege, there are still plenty of hackers running in this game, so all of their wasted attempts is literally going on individuals that weren't hacking in the first place. Like, their, 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 um, what, what is it? Their, their effort is placed in the wrong location, okay? It is what it is. So, yeah, fuck BattleEye. And, and, and generally, fuck anti-cheat, to be honest with you, because I see it harm games more than it actually helps. In fact, fuck DRM to begin with. Ladies and gentlemen, this is really what I wanted to get across. It's a little bit cathartic, but I wanted to make this video because this is something, A, I'm passionate about, and B, if in the next week or two, I get a fucking permanent ban from Rainbow Six Siege, a game that I've been playing since year one, because I, I dare to play on a virtual machine. I dare to not run Windows 10 natively. The, the, the reaction that's going to drop that day is going to be fucking biblical. I promise you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.